Yo, what's up, everybody? It's a boy at MPPI. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy N-A-P-P-I-E And welcome to the YouTube channel. Today's episode, guys, I know you guys have seen it already But it's going to be a special one. Yes, it's still the women empowerment. We're empowering our women And today we're going to talk about travel, women and travel and how they do it Because it's crazy, like, they say women are not really strong when it comes to going to places alone and all that But our beautiful lady here, Miss Trudy, has been doing it and there are so many women who have done it. Jessica has done it. Shout out to Jessica. She has finished the world and she's a woman. So here we have this Trudy and we want to know everything about women on her side. Yes, yeah, so if you're ready, come with me. Let's go. Are you ready? I am ready. I'm so All ready. right. Yes, she's super ready. Hi, Miss Trudy. And now um, you can maybe we should just go with the introduction. There are so many people who are seeing you for the first time. So yeah. Hey guys, um, my name is Miss Trudy. I am an African born in Kenya. I do travel and lifestyle content. Alright, so um, if it's your first time seeing her, please go to her YouTube channel as Miss Trudy and all on social media, Miss Trudy, Miss Trudy, everywhere. So guys, let's jump in. So um, Miss Trudy, when did you start creating content? Um, I started creating, this is my fourth year on YouTube. Oh wow. Yeah, it's now four years. You've really grown so fast. Thank God. <laughs> and when did we meet? Like two years ago or three years ago? Three years ago. Okay. First yeah. met three years ago. Right. <laughs> um, and that was here in Ghana. Right. So, um, you as a woman starting to create content, like YouTube content, and you know how people deal with women when it comes to this world that oh you're not doing well you should be in the kitchen you should do this you should do that did you go through all these or you had it on a silver platter <laughs> i definitely did not have it on a silver platter mm -hmm. um when you are starting youtube is not wasn't common you know so people were trying to you know understand it you know and yeah. many people did not so we will tell you go find a real job what are you doing? You know, you're wasting your time moving around with your camera, you know. And I honestly also thought I was wasting my time, but thank God they never gave up. Right. Yeah. So, did you wait already in the corporate world for putting YouTube on the side, or you were not doing anything and you wanted to do YouTube? Oh, I was working in a supermarket. I used to do promotions. Okay. In a supermarket. By promotions, I mean, you know, the girls who stand in a supermarket and convince you to buy a product. Okay. Could be food, could be snack, could be soap, could be anything wow. that is sold in a supermarket. Wow. So that's what I used to do. Wow. In Ghana, they would be like, promotion, promotion. Yeah, that's, what, that's exactly what I used wow. to do. Wow. That's amazing. And um, so you were doing the supermarket job and also um, YouTube on the side. No, no, no. I was fired from the supermarket job and wow. I, I was jobless at home and I discovered wow. YouTube. Wow. And then after discovering YouTube, I discovered vlogs. And then after discovering vlogs, I was like, hey, maybe I can try this thing out. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So you being fired, how long did you stay home before thinking about YouTube or did you get other jobs before? No, no, I was just home jobless for about three months. Mm. Then one day I was just depressed, crying, and I oh, was so scrolling sorry. through my phone. It's okay, I'm glad it happened now. Now you can go back and buy the supermarket. Thank you! <laughs> well said. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's really amazing. Now let's come to you empowering women. You as a woman empowering yourself. Uh -huh. And you know, people see you and then they get inspired to empower themselves too. So you being a woman, how many countries have you been so far? Mm, almost 20. Wow. And you traveling to all these countries, being a woman and traveling, you know how people think about that. So let's say your first travel, how was it like? And your recent travel, how has it been like? Well, my first travel was crazy. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, I... I didn't, I, had, I didn't do a lot of research which really messed me up I didn't you know I didn't go with dollars I went with Kenya shillings wow. 
Kenya shillings obviously just works in Kenya, you know. Mm -hmm. And when you go to other countries, um, you can't convert it. They do not even accept Kenya right. shillings. Um, to be specific, Ethiopia doesn't accept Kenya. Oh, it has wow. to be dollars or euros. So here I was, and that was all the money I had, and it was in Kenya shillings. Move, I moved to so many places, no one accepted it. Ugh, it was bad. So you know, that's one of the things. Like I didn't know so much. And then of course I was definitely scared, mm -hmm. you know, because it's your first time doing this. Um, yeah, but then if I compare it to my last trip, I, now I know we are, we are used to these things, you know, the more you travel, the more you learn. Yeah. These days you know that you have to have dollars when you travel. If you're Ghanaian, you cannot travel with Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to be messed up, you know. <laughs> Maybe your neighbors here like Togo can accept so Ghana, yeah, yeah. Ghana city, but, but if you go far, hey. They would take it, so yes, you have sir. to travel with dollars or euros, and then you know you just have to do more research about the culture, the people, the expectations. Some some countries expect you to you know wear long clothes, mm -hmm. so if you go there with your shorts, you can be embarrassed. You can even be stoned, you know. So wow, I want to come to that. Um, so let's say you went to a place where I want to put it like there are so many men, all right. And um, you being women amongst the men, when they're doing touchy touchy, like let's say you were not dating at that time, there was no one at that time, were they doing touchy touchy or you were trying to be strong as a woman? What was it like? No, well, the country you went to where I was so disappointed was Tanzania. That was not my recent trip to Tanzania. The very first, first time, time, that was like over three years ago. I went to Tanzania and they are very cultural. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't, um, it's okay, you know, every country has their own rules. But maybe it was our fault because we didn't do research. So we traveled and we went to, to the supermarket, I mean to the market, and we wanted to shop. You know, market is usually full and most of the people in the market are women selling. Yeah. So here I was with my Kenyan friend, we decided to go and buy, I can't remember what we are going to buy. Oh, the moment we stepped out of the car, women started heckling, you know, how are you dressed? <laughs> Dressed where? Dressed where? Oh, know, this speaks for you too, right? Yes. <laughs> what are you trying to do? You know, it was just very embarrassing. Luckily, I had someone who gave me something to wrap myself up. Wow, that was My friend crazy. did not. So they were chasing her, you know? Oh, chasing oh. her. What did I they wanted to stone her. It was bad. It was bad. But honestly, they were not very short clothes. They are just, you know, something on the knee. You know, because you can't be that reckless even mm -hmm. as an African. But to them, that was still inappropriate. Wow. So these are some of the things um, we need to research about. For you travel, it's better to be safe than sorry. Mm -hmm. That's just what I think. Wow, wow. Now let's come to your business. Mm -hmm. YouTube is like a full-time business for you. It is. All right, and um, you know, other women are also jumping into their own businesses. Um, what is one thing that you've learned as a woman being a YouTuber? One thing I've learned as a woman being a YouTuber, well, I've learned so many things to be honest. If I have to pick one, it would be. Uh, nothing is impossible. That's it. <laughs> There's nothing. Um, I quote Michelle Obama, she said, um, As women, we have no limits. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever we decide to put our minds to, we can achieve. All right, and okay, so um, my last question is going to be your advice to women out there who are starting their own businesses, All right? They're starting from the, let's say, from zero. Mm -hmm. What would be one biggest advice for them? Uh, to just keep pushing. Um, things can get really tough. Things can become so hard. Many times you might want to give up, but don't give up because the future is bright and if you give up you never know how you know what would have been the outcome so no matter what happens even when it's dark always remember that um it's darkest before dawn and there's always light at the end of the tunnel it's always light at the end of the tunnel thank you so much Ms. Trudy. i really appreciate that and on behalf of the subscribers they want to ask these questions there are 10 beautiful questions and you have to answer them. Okay. Are you I ready? I thought you were done. Yes, you're done. But you said you know, last this, question. Yeah, the subscribers just called me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What goes through your mind when you think about women and travels? Um, YOLO. You only live once, so travel as much as you can. Wow. 
Okay, the next one is what is one thing you know about women and workforce you wish you knew earlier? So well, let's say put yourself in those something that you wish you knew earlier. Just mind your business. Do you think mind your business? <laughs> So you're not minding your business? I never used to mind my business. Oh, now I'm just minding your business. Okay. Exactly. And that has saved you. All right. Um, what is one in, um, professional inspiration that you've drawn from other women? And who is that? Oh, other women? Yeah. Who has really inspired you? Well, when I was starting it, I was inspired by, I don't know if you guys know Wabosha Maxine. Okay. She's a Kenyan YouTuber. She really inspired me to do YouTube. And a girl called Ricky, she's also a Kenyan YouTuber. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because wow. uh, they started before me and I used to watch them, and I was like, wow, they are just amazing. So awesome. they are my inspiration. Okay, that's amazing. Um, what will you tell young women as you are also young, but what will you tell young women who are just starting YouTube? Mm, be and other businesses. Yeah. Be consistent mm -hmm. and uh, don't give up. Don't give up. No matter what happens, keep going. Oh, wow. Um, okay, last but one, but not the least. What is one thing? Okay, I think we're speaking about that. Let's talk about the last one. When your voice can reach everyone in the world, what is one thing that you would say? Right. What is one thing that you would say if your web or voice can reach everyone in the world? No, I'm talking between two things. Wow. <laughs> okay, you let's let's say all the two, but we'll take it out somewhere. <laughs> um, one is never give up. Thank you. Two is nothing is impossible. Thank you so much. Yeah. Nothing is impossible. My girlfriend loves that. <laughs> all right. Hey, Napi's girlfriend. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Vishuri. We really appreciate the love and support, and um, we want to say, Kari Bugana once again, and. Um, Oh wow, so we just had to switch language. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so uh, please head towards her YouTube channel. She's reaching 300,000 very soon. Please, please, please help her get it and go follow her on Instagram or social media. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if it's your first time seeing me. And please hit the uh, bell, right? Yeah, ding. <laughs> yes, to get a notification anytime I post a video, I'm going to see you on the other side. Peace. Bye. Out. <laughs>